Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into this video, let's see if we could have 100 likes, and if you haven't already, make sure to drop a sub. So in today's video, it's going to be the match preview for the game Wednesday night, Birmingham City versus Millwall at St Andrews. Let's get straight on to the opposition. Now, of course, Millwall are having a good season so far. Um, they currently sit 7th in the Championship out of the last 5 games. They've won 4 and lost one that I lost, of course, come against, um, well, at the start of play, there was bottom of the championship, but of course, they beat Millwall 1-0, and uh, it lifted them off the bottom, West Brom dropping rock bottom, that's very interesting, isn't it, imagine if they actually get relegated, but yeah, they've got, of course, Gary Rowett as their manager, top class manager, is he going to come back and haunt Blues, I hope not, but when he's been in charge, um, apart from his all his returns to St Andrews, I think we've only beaten him once, and that was when we beat Stoke 2 0 when he was the Stoke manager, I believe. Um, of course, their top goal scorer is um, Zian Fleming with five goals. They've also got players like Tom Bradshaw, Bena Kafobe, who scored the last minute penalty to deny us all three points um, in this fixture last season at St Andrews. They've also got George Honeyman. Um, the signing from Sunderland, good player. Getting on to Blues, of course, um, we had that amazing win against QPR, beating them 2-0, and we're back at St Andrews Wednesday night. The team, um, I think it should be the same, really. Rudy and Gold, Dean, Sanderson, Trusty, Longello, Colin as the um, as the uh, wing-backs, and then Bielik, Hannibal, Chong, and then the two up top, Deeney and Hogan. Um, and what does it say about this team when we've got a player of Bakuna's quality sat on the bench and can't get into the team? That says a lot, doesn't it, of how much we've improved. Yes, most of our players might be loan signings, but you know what? You've still got to convince them to join the football club, haven't you? So credit where it's due there. Um, now, we're five points off the playoffs as it stands. Our aim at the start of the season was probably... Survival just stay in the championship at all costs, but the league is the championship is always wide open, isn't it? And we need to go on a run if we have ambition, have ambitions of getting them playoff places. We're currently five points off sixth place Swansea. Of course, we sit in twelfth place. We go above Millwall with three points. We need to be winning these sort of games. We need to be beating the teams in and around the playoffs if we want to actually achieve them. I don't think it's realistic, but you you know, why can't we get the playoffs? Look what we've done over the last couple of games. I mean, you you've saw what you you've saw um you know, we put QPR to the sword, we put well, we didn't put Burnley to the sword, but we was arguably close to winning that game um at the end and then Blackburn, yeah, that was just a mad game where we were just so unlucky. So Birmingham City versus Millwall. My score predictions for this game. We we rarely beat Millwall at St Andrews. We rarely beat them in general, to be fair. Um, I'm trying to think when's the last time we actually beat Mill, uh, Millwall. I, I, I think it was um, under Gary Monk four, four, four or five seasons ago. But yeah, my prediction is going to be Blues 2, Q, um, not QPR, sorry, I'm getting totally mixed up. Blues 2, um, Millwall 0. I think Millwall... You know they're gonna be a bit. They're gonna be looking to respond after that Huddersfield defeat because that was a shock defeat for them. But I think with Blues, you look how we played against QPR. I just I just can't see anything other than a Blues win. To be fair, might finish in a draw. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to the game? Your score prediction, so on and so forth. Anyway, it's been Keep Right on TV here. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can one hundred like one hundred likes. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep right on.